Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and welcome to this week's Balkan Architect course. So for this course I'm going to be doing something that you have been asking me for a long time and I get these uh, questions very frequently and that's Revit structure. So you guys want to know about Revit structure and this week for my advanced Balkan Architect course I'm bringing you a Revit structure course. Now on my Patreon, first a link in the description, you can find all of my advanced Balkan Architect courses. Now one of those courses is on uh, advanced uh, structural, uh, structural tools in Revit and I'm showing Showing you all of the steel uh, structures and approach when working uh, with steel elements in Revit. So for today's course or this week's course I'm going to be doing a course on concrete elements in Revit and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, basically build a concrete building, all of the little tips and tricks and best practices for doing concrete buildings and of course uh, not only am I going to be creating all of the concrete elements but we're actually going to be reinforcing them using the rebar tools in Revit. So I just go over all of the structure tools and then all of the rebar tools and I also show you a little tips and tricks about uh, something like precast elements and how to show that in sections and things like that. So let's go to the computer and I'm going to be showing you what this course is all going to be all about. So here, as you can see, I have this building that uh, the course is going to be all about. So we have, it's a simple building, looks like that, uh, nothing really that crazy, but I made sure that they go through all of the uh, structural elements that are uh, used in Revit, like the beam, the wall, the column, the floor, and also the beam system. Uh, truss and brace, uh, I show that uh, more in the structural course, where I show all of the steel elements. Uh, for now, uh, we're just uh, going to be doing all of the concrete elements for this one. So I basically show you this, this is what the analytical model looks like. So I made sure that everything is basically in the right position. As you can see, everything is in perfect order is here as well. Also here we have some openings, as you can see here on the structural core. And then here in the rebar view, you can see we have rebar in pretty much everything, or at least in all elements. I don't do the whole building, but I show you how to do each element. And then uh, the idea is is that you can uh, finish it yourself if you choose so. Okay, so as you can see here we have rebar in the wall and also here we have some openings and actually this rebar is parametric so if I change for example this opening let's say change the height the rebar will adapt so no rebar is poking out of that opening also we do the same thing for this here floor as you can see we have a a shaft for the elevator and the stairs and the same thing goes if i change the dimensions of that shaft uh, this will basically update the rebar will update. Also I show you how to put rebar in columns here as you can see we have that and also for example here in the wall the rebar goes all the way through and then it kind of uh, hooks up in the uh, foundation and also here in one of the beams if I can orbit in such a way yeah as you can probably tell here we have some rebar in the beams but for example in this section you can see it better and I show you how to do all of the little fine adjustments for rebar so here uh, you don't have kind of rebar overlapping or any of these bars aren't going through the horizontal ones so they're all uh, in different layers and it works so they're kind of they're not overlapping that's really important and that's why you want to do rebar in Revit you want to uh, you don't want to have all of that overlap so that's why you test everything out in the computer and then on the construction site you don't get any problems. So that's uh, what we do for that. Here is another section so as you can see here's all the rebar here and of course here we get a little tag and again as I said I show you all of the little uh, tips and tricks in adjusting rebar and uh, I thought this was an interesting topic but also when covering concrete in Revit I think precast is a really important topic and as far as rebar and all of the, the construction elements it's pretty much the same approach but you have to have some sort of little gaps between the elements if they are precast so I show you how to do that and I actually show you two different approaches so you can pick out the, the approach that you want to use so here I have this approach where I kind of do that little gap between walls and this is how it looks like usually the gap has to be like this angular so when it's raining the water isn't running up so that's important to have and also here I show you a different approach where you kind of separate the layers so 
okay in the front he has this split and this uh, structural element he has the split but then the uh, insulation part uh, runs all the way through uh, it doesn't look like this in real life but it's usually represented like this in uh, some of the the drawings that I used for reference for uh, creating this approach so you, I show you these two approaches in doing precast elements and how to represent that on the sheet okay so if you want to check out this course or any of my other advanced courses I've got like 25 out so far they are all over one hour long this course in particular is like one hour 13 minutes something like that and I go all, all over all of these tools check out my patreon first a link in the description of this video there you can sign up and uh, we have a few tiers so you have the five dollar tier it gives you access to all of my project files like this far file for example or you have the fifteen dollar tier that gives you access to all of my uh, advanced Revit courses 25 courses so far so that's over 25 hours of content over there for only fifteen dollars a month and I upload new courses each week and also at a thirty dollar tier you get one hour of my time I can do a private uh, tutorial on maybe some topic that you want or maybe I can help you over Skype or team viewer on a particular project that you're working on so that's what my patreon is all about so check it out first link in the description okay so that's it for uh, this quick little announcement for this week's course and I'll be back with another regular Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day